this past Sunday, we were looking at Jeremiah chapter 9 and talking about struggles in life. Uh, you know, the life that we live can bring great joy to ourselves and to others, or it can bring great sorrow. It just depends on how we choose to live our life. Um, there are times when life seems to be going great. Everything is perfect. Everything falls into place, but other times there seems to be no relief from the struggles that arise. Now, if we are in that place of constant struggle, I just want to look at a few things that a few areas that we can check into, look into to see if maybe it points us to the reason why. And it's based off of that, again, the passage Jeremiah 9, and I believe it's verses 8 through 14. But a few of the things that we need to look at if we're struggling in life is loose lips. We need to pay attention to what we say. You know, in Jeremiah 9, 8, it says, Their tongue is a deadly arrow. It speaks deceitfully. With their mouths, they all speak cordially to their neighbors, but in their hearts, they set traps for them. And so he's saying the tongue is a very powerful weapon. We know that. A single word can bring, can bring great pain upon someone, or it can bring great joy. Our words can be a weapon, or it can be a source of great comfort. And it's from our hearts that our mouth speaks. In Luke chapter 6, it says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So pay attention to what we say. Our lips, loose lips. Do we just say whatever comes to mind? Do we have no filter when we speak? Um... And if it's all trash that comes out of our mouth, then our heart is full of trash. And we need to pay attention to that. Um, so if we're struggling today, maybe it's the way we speak, the way we talk to each other, the way we talk to ourselves. I know I'm a, I'm a bad one there, I, the negative talk. And the struggles that we face because of that. If you're struggling, pay attention to what you say. Or there could be lawless living, pay, paying attention to what we do. Um, again, let's see. Jeremiah 9, verse 13, it says, The Lord said, It is because they have forsaken my law, which I set before them. They have not obeyed me or followed my law. That was the reason why Israel was having so much problems, is because they were choosing to go against God's law. They were choosing to live a life of lawlessness. And you think about that. A single action can bring about positive or negative outcomes. If we choose, if we, if we choose to break the law, I'm going to go from here back to home, and I'm going to go down the road, and I know I'm going to speed because I like going fast. Well, I can choose to break the law, but if I get caught, if I get pulled over, there's going to be consequences to that, to those actions. I'm going to be fined. I'm going to be my license be taken away. I'm, you know, there are consequences to our actions. And in the same way, there are consequences to our actions if we choose to break the law of God. He placed the law there to help us, not to hurt us. It wasn't put there to be a burden upon us. It was put there to protect us, to help us to live the life that God wants us to live. And if we choose to live by the law, there's no fear of God because we are choosing to follow him and him alone. It's kind of like if I choose to speed and I get caught, there are consequences. But if I choose to abide by the laws of the road, if I pass a police officer, I have no fear of that authority because I am doing what I'm supposed to do. There's nothing hard about going the speed limit. And then there's freedom in that. In the same way, we have freedom if we are living by the law of God, living for him. And so if we're struggling today, maybe it's because of lawless living. Are there things that we're doing that we are choosing to do to go against what God would want us to? Or there could be just a hardened heart. You know, as I said about paying attention to our, what we say, paying attention to our hearts. Because if our hearts are filled with filth, that's what's going to come out of our mouth. And if our hearts are filled with filth, then we, our hearts may become stubborn.
to where we do not want to do or do choose not to do what we should do. He says in Jeremiah 9, 14, they have followed the stubbornness of their hearts. That was the reason, one of the reasons why they, um, the Israelites had the struggles that they did is because they were following the stubbornness of their hearts rather than what God wanted them to do. They were hardening their hearts towards God's perfect, perfection, his perfect life, and choosing to live the life that they thought was right. And so, again, the same way, if we harden our hearts to what God would want us to do, then that makes it where life can be a hardship. It can be a struggle because we're trying to do things by our own abilities, our own understandings, our own knowledge, and we harden our hearts to God and struggles come into our life. Or there could be a faulty focus that we, and we need to pay attention to what we are focused upon. Again, Jeremiah 9, 14, he says, they have followed the Baals as their ancestors taught them. Instead of following God, they chose to follow other gods. They didn't follow the God of all the universe. They followed these man-made objects as gods. And so they had that faulty focus. They were either focused inwardly, the selfishness, or they were focused on other gods and things, man-made objects, but they were not focusing upward to the God of all creation. Their focus was wrong. And again, we need to pay attention to that focus. Are we struggling with things in this life? Is our focus on us? Is it on our families? It is, again, is it on our jobs? Or is it on our God? If we are facing struggles, maybe our focus is off. Maybe we need to refocus upon him and what, who he is and what he wants and what his desires are. And as we live for him, then those struggles of life will diminish. So pay attention. Pay attention to what we say. Pay attention to what we do. Pay attention to, um, to, to, the, to our hearts. What are our hearts saying within us? And pay attention to our focus. Focus on the God of all creation through Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.